Hello, apparel design students taking fashion history. This is Katie Dichter. I am the librarian liaison to your program. Probably I have met you all before. Um, I wanted to show you a few resources, actually just two, that you can use for your fashion history assignment. Um, so what you see on the screen here is a Canvas page. It's not your class, but it's a class. And there's a link over here on the left to the Seattle Central College Library. You should have that same link in your class. I asked Tanya to enable it. So that's the way that you want to go into the library homepage. So you have to open it in a new tab. And then from here, I want, there are lots and lots and lots of tools that you can use for this assignment. The two that I'm going to show you are the most important ones. The first one you'll find from this A to Z list of databases and it's called Bloomsbury Fashion Central. So select that from the list and click Go. Um, since we're all off campus, you'll see this interim page. This page exists because it's allowing you into um, paid resources. We pay subscriptions for these databases, so you can't just get in from anywhere. So in here is your last name or family name and then full student ID number. And then you get into the holding page or the first default page for this database. Um, this is an amazing database. It has two things, the Berg Fashion Library, that's your primary collection for the fashion history assignment, but it also has fashion business cases, which is better for um, the business class, which I think is 131. Um, so once you're inside of here, uh, this is a good search for either option that you've chosen for your paper topic. So option A, as you know, is you're researching some article of clothing and you're researching the origin, structure, evolution, semiotics, etc. Option B is that you're researching a designer and that designer's contribution, influence, and aesthetic style. So um, I'll show you a test search for each um, topic, option A and option B. One of the options for A is dashiki. So here are my search results, and there are 21 results here that all come from texts, so not an overwhelming amount like you would find if you did a Google search or a search maybe in another database. And every single thing in here is, as the database name would suggest, dedicated to fashion and focused on fashion. So you can see over here on the left that um, my results come from book chapters and encyclopedia entries. And then within the results themselves in this main section, this is the entry or chapter title. And then you get some more information about that source, including where it comes from. So this is coming from an encyclopedia called the Berg Companion to Fashion. Um, and then you get some links down here to a timeline and pretty much every result looks similar. Another thing to note is that they have taken a piece of the text that has your keyword so you can get a little sense of what this entry is talking about um, so that you can decide whether or not you want to look at it. Um, if you want to look at it, click the entry title and then the full text of the entry will come onto the screen. So this is something from a book called The Bird Companion to Fashion. I think I already said that. It's called Afrocentric Fashion. And then um, what you can do is control F like Frank on your keyboard he, in here to um, type your keyword in again and to see where your keyword is appearing in the text. And that's kind of a nice way to skip around in the text. Oh, this is a nice picture. Um, and to see where your keywords appear. So you can, well, hopefully maybe you got a sense from this article that this entry is talking about um, the appropriation of this garment, the dashiki, into Afrocentric fashion. So that can tell you a little bit about the evolution of the garment, and then um, maybe also something about semiotics and definitely socio-political contexts. As it talks about um, Afrocentricity, um, and you can see in this first paragraph, it's talking about Senegal, Senegal, and then later 
in the United States. So I'll click back over to search results, maybe scroll a little bit more down and see what is here. Oh, here's something called the Peacock Revolution, American masculine identity and dress in the 60s and 70s. So you can tell that by the title of the book that it's talking about um, American masculine identity. So this is really like you keep the keep the paper topic in your mind as you look through these search results because just those keywords masculine american masculine identity that's really talking about the semiotics portion of the paper so that this was appropriated into american culture african-american culture and became a symbol of masculinity um, is really important so you can open this result and just like we did in the previous entry search around within it for your keyword by clicking control f like frank and then you get to these paragraphs that um, contain a lot of the keywords and this is actually talking about the yoruba word so that's um tells you about the origin of this particular type of dress some nice picture in here um, and then down here more about black americans and the um the wearing and appropriation of the dashiki so that is using bloomsbury fashion central to uh search and evaluate results for option a um option b is researching a designer so we'll try a search for a designer in here and see um, i'm searching dapper dan and i'm actually going to put quotes around it because I want just that exact term. I don't want things that just talk about Dapper. Um, and I don't want other people named Dan. I just want this guy. So I click search. And um, for this particular topic, I have a couple of images up here, which are cool. You can explore those. And then um, just like with the previous topic, some um, entries uh, related to Dapper Dan. And um, for option B, what you're talking about related to your designer are contribution, influence, and aesthetic style. So um, you can see here that the first entry on hip hop fashion, so this is talking about Dapper Dan's, um, well, both contribution and influence. He had an amazing influence on hip hop fashion starting in the 80s. Um, so somewhere in this article, they talk about Dapper Dan and his influence on hip hop fashion. Okay. Um, if you want to save things that you have found in this database, use this link and it should let you, oh, you have to sign up or sign in. That's kind of annoying, but you can do that. Sign, make an account and then it will probably let you download things to your computer or email them to yourself. Also notice that this database will generate a citation for you in MLA. I think that's what Tanya wants you to use. So you can copy that, paste it into the back of your paper. Um, and I think that's probably it for this database. I don't really need to say anything more. Um, I'll close that. And going back to the library homepage, I also want to show you the library catalog. So that's the first default search box that you see here on the home page. And um, typically use the library catalog to search for print books, but we also have a lot of electronic resources in here that you can use from home. So if you do a search for something like Toshiki, then what you wanna do with your results in here, the first thing that you wanna do is over here on the left, click available online because that's gonna show you things that you can read the entire thing from home online. So we have this entry called Marriage Customs of the World, or sorry, it's an encyclopedia of dating customs and wedding traditions. And so somewhere in here, you could open this up, the, it opens the entire encyclopedia in Gale Virtual Reference Library. Somewhere in here, there's an entry on the dashiki. And you can tell by the title of this thing, Marriage Customs of the World, that um, the dashiki is a garment worn somewhere in marriage customs. So 
that might be part of the origin section of your paper if you're choosing option A. And then let me show you quickly another search within option B. Um, I'll do Coco Chanel because I don't know how much stuff we have electronically through the catalog on Dapper Dan, but we do, it depends on your topic what you'll find in here. So for my search Coco Chanel and I click the limiter for available online, um, you can see that we have number one, three, four, etc. are electronic books. And then we have this electronic video from a database that's kind of like YouTube, but it's um, scholarly stuff. So if you want to look in one of these books, let's pick the Queen of Haute Couture. So just that title should tell you something about contribution and aesthetic style of Coco Chanel. So you click this title, this longer record opens, and then it will tell you here the full text availability is in this collection called eBook Central. Then within eBook Central, this is like a holding page for the book, and what you want to do is click Read Online. There's a link here in this purple button over here. And then that will open up the text of the book. So a nice way to use this tool, um, you probably aren't going to flip through the pages, which you could do if you wanted to with these little arrows up the top. You're probably not going to read this thing top to bottom. But what you might do is over here on the left, look at the um, table of contents. So we have a section on biography, political, social, and economic context, key mo moments, and impact. So again, based on the prompts of your assignment, you'll know which sections to go to. Tanya specifically says, don't give me a biography of this person. That's not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is things like influence and contribution. So you might look in this impact section and you see there's this little section called influence on the rules of fashion and then the Chanel empire and the design revolution. So that's really spot on in terms of what your assignment asks you for. And then um, if you click one of these links over on the left, it takes you to a specific part of the book. Again, links up at the top here are ways to download and save this source. And then it should somewhere in here also, oh yeah, get citation is here as well. So you can click that and get an MLA citation. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. If I go back to the library homepage, note these little buttons at the top of the page. Um, one for Ask the Library. So Ask the Library, um, you, there are lots of ways to get a hold of us. We are there. We're answering, or we're answering messages on the phone, email, etc. Um, this chat button and this little chat box is 24-7 chat with a librarian. From 9 to 5, it will be someone from Central. Um, but you have 24-hour access to a librarian in other parts of the state and other parts of the world. And then there's this little link to make a research appointment. So librarians are available Monday through Friday. If you want to schedule a research appointment, they're half-hour appointments. Um, and when you click this link, um, this will tell you, this little button will tell you the times that are available. Definitely use this service, again, if you feel stuck or um, you just feel like you can't remember the databases I showed you, or for whatever reason, just use it. It's kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to sign off. I hope this was helpful. It sure was long. And take care. Email me, ask Tanya if you have questions, make a research appointment, etc. Bye!